Welcome to the channel. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Gosford, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. What are you doing to keep yourself busy? And is it just a distraction from what's really happening in your life? What is really happening in your life? Are you running from something? Are there things that you've left unresolved that possibly could haunt you day by day? What exactly is happening in your life? Let's look at some of the things that might help us to mirror what's going on in our lives. The hardest place to look of all is into the light. The light that shines on where we're at. Oh, it's easy to justify ourselves. It's easy to just say everything's okay. But the question is, is it? Life. It's so hard to look within and get a measure of where we're really at and what really is important to us. It's hard for people that aren't rescuers because the culture that we live in now is one that demands that illegitimate victims be acknowledged. It weakens the character of the people that we justify for being weak and irresponsible and unaccountable. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be an accessory to the fact. I was walking along a footpath past the park at a place called Cooliewong on the central coast of New South Wales, Australia today. And I heard this woman turn to a little boy and say to him, You're not the only one that's special in this world. You're not the only one that's special. I turned to the woman and I said, so you're killing the grandioso spirit in him already? And she said, you bet I am. I said, well, that'll be one less narcissist, won't it? And she said, oh, yes, it will. Parenting's not about stroking the ego. That normally looks after itself without our help. But what happens when the ego takes hold and narcissism drops into the spirit? What you're going to find is a very interfering and controlling manipulative individual that's not going to allow you to flourish. Narcissists want all the attention. They're not prepared to bend without a fight. They're going to put up a big fight. How do you combat that? What do you do when that happens? Well, you walk away. You don't buy into the arguments of the narcissist. That's what they want. They want you to play into the bait. They want you to play into their delusions. And so on. That's what they want. 
Once you've entangled yourself in the delusion of a narcissist, it's very hard to find your way out from there. As a matter of fact, you may not find your way out from there. You just might be stuck. Stuck in the derision and the attack of the narcissist. You see, we live in a world that makes peace and serenity and all these things the main focus. But the whole way in which it's going about it is wrong. Without discipline, without chastisement at a healthy level the human soul has no marker the human soul doesn't normally mark itself in, by way of goodness that brick wouldn't fit hmm the human soul has a way of being foolish tending towards foolishness And that's not good for anybody. The human soul bends towards evil and if we're not aware of it, we can make incredible fools of ourselves. And to be honest, for the most part, that's exactly what the devil wants. He wants us to be foolish to wreck things, the good things that we have and cherish and love. And when we don't, that's when the devil starts to get stirred up. And that's where conflict comes from. Peace always comes at a cost. And so does serenity. When you look at the world wars and the conflicts and everything that took place, what was it all for? Well, apparently it was for peace. We don't need to go to that sort of devastation to get peace, but at the same time, we just can't ignore things that need to be fixed. It's like an open wound that doesn't get treated. When there's things there that we know can be better and they're not, we're just ignoring them. Guess what? It's gonna catch up with you, it's gonna catch up with me, it's gonna undo the good things that we've had. I've looked my partners in the eyes and I've said to them, please don't let anything ruin what we have. And they've looked back at me and said, I won't. And I've split up with them and I've said, can we talk? And they've said, please, can we talk? And it's come to the point where we're going to get back together and they've said, I, I won't ruin this again. Sometimes we try and force things that aren't meant to be. That's when we get into trouble. Sometimes it's better if we just let things go. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist. Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. The hardest thing we can do is to let something go. And then when we let it go, if it don't come back, guess what? That's exactly how it was meant to be. You can't always fix everybody else's problems. That's not your job. That's why you have to focus on yourself and do the best that you can without being ignorant of your own mistakes 
once you've got yourself on point, it's not up to you to teach other people how to love you. That's on them. If they want you, they'll do the right thing. If they don't want you, guess what? That's right, they're going to disappear. You're not going to want to have them around. Keep moving forward. Don't let the inabilities and negligences of others disrupt you. And if things are meant to be, they will. And if they're not, they won't. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast. Bye for now.